Hi folks, this is Max from GalaxyNote3Root.com. Um, today I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM on your uh, Galaxy Note 3 with Twerp Recovery installed. I also have another video using Clockwork My Recovery. Um, if you're using Clockwork My Recovery, you should watch that video instead. I'll have a link on my site or you can check out the FAQ page on my site at GalaxyNote3Root.com. Um, so to do to install a new ROM using Twerp, obviously you'll have to have a rooted Note 3 um, and also Twerp recovery installed. Uh, if you don't have Twerp recovery installed, if you don't have a rooted phone, go to my site and um, there's instructions. Follow the root directions um, and you'll be able to install Twerp. Um, so once you've got Twerp recovery installed, uh, root it your phone and uh, you will want to install a new ROM. So you went to my site or you went to XDA and you downloaded a ROM. Um, I, let's say you download it straight to your phone, then it's gonna be under, let me go ahead and start here. Go to all and then um, usually if you download straight to your phone, it'll go in your download directory, all right? And uh, you can see that I've got Jelly, Note 3 Jelly Bomb version 1.00.zip. All of the ROM files ended uh, dot zip and some ROMs uh, such as Cyanogen mod you may need to flash uh, Google Apps separately and that will come as GFs blah blah dot zip so you have all the files you need downloaded either on your internal storage or micro SD card uh, once you have those files ROM files you're gonna have to reboot into recovery so I'm gonna go ahead and power off my phone and there are easier ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the manual method because this method is great. If you end up in a boot loop, you'll still be able to boot into Clock for My Recovery and do it manually. Um, so once your phone is powered off, go ahead and hold down volume up, center home, and the power button together for about one, two, three, and it'll say recovery rebooting. And you should be in a twerp recovery. Um, and next thing you want to do, make sure you make a backup ROM. Um, I highly suggest you to do that. I also have instructions on how to do that. Check out my site. And once you've backed up your current ROM, then you're gonna do a uh, probably a wipe, uh, wipe factory reset. All right. This will erase all of your settings, all of your apps, all of your app data, but it's not gonna touch your internal storage, uh, your personal videos, files, um, you know, photos, all that. And you're gonna go. Usually, sometimes you can skip this. Like in this example, I'm installing Jelly Bomb. ROM, uh, which is based on Sprint firmware. So most likely I didn't even have to do a wipe, uh, but most custom ROMs I do recommend it. So that's why I wiped it. So I'm going to go to install here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, install uh, Note 3 Jelly Bomb Domination version and confirm flash. And this will install the custom ROM. Like I told you, there may be more than one file. Um, also, you can use this method to flash any zip file. There are sometimes like sound mods and stuff. Um, you can go ahead and use the same method, uh, find the zip file, install it. All this does is flash the zip file. Um, so when this is done, I'm going to simply reboot and I should be good to go. Um, another way, you could probably get your all of your apps, app settings back if you're installing the same firmware based custom firmware. Um, you could probably just do a restore and restore just the data part. That might work too. Um, but I usually do a fresh, fresh install. Um, that is the best way because sometimes custom ROMs have different parts and you know um, little things can end up you know breaking your phone so a clean install is probably the best way and use titanium backup app and other backup apps to uh, restore your system once it is done go ahead and reboot system or if you have more files go ahead and install more zip files such as Google Apps uh, and then reboot and uh, if your phone boots you know the first time should be all good to go so that's a good sign if you see the boot up animation and then um, it should take maybe like a minute or two to actually you know boot into the ROM once you get it into the welcome screen you're good to go but sometimes you do end up in a boot loop uh, with some custom ROMs and what you can do if you end up in a boot loop I'll go back into Torp recovery uh, choose wipe and if you go to advanced wipe there's a, uh, a menu called format system or wipe slash system that will uh, format your system uh, completely and then you can do a data wipe factory reset again and try reinstalling your ROM that's kind of a clean install uh, what I really did here is kind of a well sort of somewhat between dirty and clean install uh, usually works this usually works but uh, if you want to 
you know, if you end up in a boot loop, sometimes it happens. Like I said, you can go ahead and format system, um, try reinstalling the ROM from the start, and that will usually boot the ROM. But in this case, um, it did boot my uh, new Jelly Bomb ROM here, uh, which I'm excited about. And uh, I see the welcome screen here. It's going to try to activate my device because the Sprint Note 3s, um, they'll always try to do that when you install a new ROM. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But um, let me gonna give it a second just to show you that it. Yeah, there we go. If you get this screen, you are good to go. Congratulations, you've installed your uh, first custom ROM. Anyway, I just wanted to show you how to install a custom ROM using Twerp since the menus are similar but different. And uh, if this video has helped you install a new custom ROM on your uh, Note 3 with Twerp Recovery, um, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button there. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at uh, galaxynote3root.com. Um, we update you once a week with uh, Round of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And I will see you guys soon. I'm going to go play with my new Jelly Bomb ROM. Uh, yeah, see y'all later.